Xavier headed up the road for a showdown with the Dayton Flyers. No current Xavier player has ever won a game in UD Arena. The Flyers get careless early on. James Posey with a steal. Then the hoop and the harm. Posey would come right back. The back door would be left open. Lenny Brown feeds Posey. Posey had a game high 32 points to lead the Muskies. XU on a 9 to nothing run to start the game. Second half, Dayton charges back into it. Kobe Turner finds nothing but the net. That's what you pay your kids to go to school for. Lenny Brown has been unstoppable. LB light and fire from downtown. 25 points for Brown. But Kobe Turner came back. He was feeling good. Xavier falls short for the second time in as many games, 91 to 86. They're a team that doesn't score a lot of points per game normally, but, but I think you point to one thing is the fact that they scored 91 points today, and, um, and they just shot the three over the zone, I think, really well in the second half. Florida with a third straight loss as they visited St. Joe's in Philadelphia. Lenny Brown's three brought him back to a tie. He had 26. James Posey with a huge block to keep the Hawks from flying away. The game was tied 24 all at halftime. Hawks pulled away again, but again, this time it's Gary Lumpkin, also playing in front of family and friends from nearby Delaware, tied it at 50 all. James Posey with a record tying and setting free throw to nail it down. 31 straight now. XU outscores him 15-3 over the last three minutes for the 59-53 victory. Other college score holding their breath to beat St. Joe's on the road for the first time since 1963. Xavier could finally exhale, but it could not relax because waiting in the wings was LaSalle. The two teams hooked up in an afternoon tangle. James Posey passes off to Mo McAfee here. He misses, but Posey follows with a slam. It was LaSalle, though, who was winning the battle of the boards. The missed shot here by Victor Thomas. Then Kazell Wesson, nice hairdo on Kazell. He misses the putback, but Donnie Carr's there with the follow. Somebody make one. LaSalle up 72-63 with three to go. McAfee in the corner for three but it would not be enough. LaSalle beats the Muskies. Let's move on. Xavier was on the final leg of a four-game road trip this afternoon. The best the Muskies could do was return home 2-2 two and two in that span. X on the road with the Explorers of LaSalle, Kevin Fry. The pretty reverse land he had five today. Some good D by the Muskies, Gary Lumpkin. The steal then takes it to the rack all the way at the other end. Lumpkin dropped in 15 points today. LaSalle opens up the lanes for James Pose. He says, thank you very much for the jam Pose. Led Xavier with 18 and 12 boards. Second half, Xavier started to get in trouble. Lumpkin adds two more here, but it was not enough. Kazell Wesson of LaSalle would come down and get the hoop in the harm. Xavier falls again, 88 to 75 is your final. Hello again, everyone. After four straight road games that netted one narrow victory, Xavier needed a win on their wood in the worst way. Senior guards Gary Lumpkin and Lenny Brown starting their 100th game together pulled the lads together to get it done. Though Skip Prosser continues to fret over how flat they've been of late. In fact, Duquesne jumped out early. Wayne Smith banks home three of his 15. This is a team that had lost 14 straight coming in. Lumpkin called a halt to their hopes with a three of his own from the left side. He had 13 for the game. And it was Lenny Brown, 18 for him, two off the jumper, and they had finally taken control. Shot of the night, Pete goes to James Posey. He's going to go baseline underneath, and it falls, as do the Dukes, 72 to 54. So many things right now, in my opinion, that we're not doing well. That's why sometimes I marvel that we're 17 and 7 and, and 9 and 2. Because we've never been 9 and 2 that I can remember in this league. And despite what a lot of people think, this is, this is still a pretty doggone good basketball.